Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, on Monday, the 29th of August, 2010. It is my week 75 post-op from lap band surgery. 76 weeks ago, I started the pre-op liquid diet. Weighed in at 244.6 pounds. And uh, as a last resort, I chose the lap band surgery to help me in my struggle with obesity. And I'm very happy to say... I did it, uh, and I continue at 75 weeks post-op uh, and six weeks at maintenance to Penny. Seriously? Come on. Sorry. Um, six weeks maintenance, I continue to work to change my life. Um, I've always said it, and I still believe it, uh, being successful with any weight loss surgery, specifically the lap band, is 40% the tool, the lap band, and 60% right here. Um, I think the mental game to exercise 210 minutes per week, that breaks down to seven days a week at 30 minutes a day, uh, and to make the right food choices every single meal and go with protein first, and all the other rules associated with relearning how to eat, are the other 60%. Um, so, as I mentioned, I started out at 244.6 pounds. My goal was to lose 99 pounds, so my goal weight was 145.6. Um, I hit my goal weight on July 15th, and um, I cherish that moment, and I felt honored and blessed to have all of you share that moment with me, and to so many of you who made those response videos. I still go back and watch them often. Um, last week, I was at 145, which was a slight gain from the week prior. And this week, I'm happy to report I am at 144.6. So just a slight decrease from last week. But, if you've been watching my videos from the weekend, I woke up, my lowest weight last week was 143.8 on Thursday morning. Wednesday morning, too. Friday, I woke up 6 pounds heavier at 149.2. So I gave the Heisman to the weekend fat girl coming back at me, and I fought all weekend, made good choices, did my exercise, ate the right foods, used my tool, the lap band, and went from 149.2 on Friday to where I am today at 144.6. So that feels great. Anything is possible, guys. Uh, what does uh, Jeremy the Germ say? Um, conquer the possible. I agree with him. Conquer the possible. So, I don't have a lot of time tonight, uh, but I've had some non-scale victories that are pretty freaking cool. Friday, uh, my office went out to lunch, and so we went out and got in the car, and when we came back, we got out of the car. And there's a lot of warehouse. It's a warehouse district where I work, so a lot of uh, factory employees. And there's a luggage factory across the street, and some girl comes running out of the warehouse factory and says my name which I've never met her um, but I know the owners you know and a couple of the other guys who work there she came running up to me and my co-worker oh my god oh my god you have to tell me how you lost all the weight you look so amazing so incredible I need to know my co-worker looked at me and of course I went into the story um, but it was just cool that she came like that's pretty ballsy you know, to someone you've never met before, um, you know she's been watching me, you know, the la last 75 weeks, uh, or at least for a period of time, and she wanted to know the secret, you know, how did I do it? So, you know me, I told her, I told her everything. Um, second, I went for my fitting, for my first fitting for my bridal gown, my wedding dress, and... I never took measurements prior to surgery and have not done so along the way, relied on my clothes and my bra size, you know. She measured me, this little seamstress, at 38 bust, a 30 waist, and 38 hips. She doesn't know me, you know. First time I've ever met her. 
and she said, Oh, wow, you have the model body, a perfect body, and so fit, too. Uh, and uh, I was like, I've worked hard for this body, and uh, I think you might be my new best friend, you know? So that was really cool. That was like an aha moment for me, you know? Uh, we rely on that scale so frequently, and even our clothes. Uh, but to have a stranger who doesn't know me straight up from sideways, you know, uh, say that, that was pretty freaking cool. Um, then uh, I wore some three inch candy red heels. I bought them. Yes, I did. And I still got to adjust to walking in them. But God bless Craig, you know, he's a trooper. He'll go with me anywhere, anyhow, and if and if not, he'll tell me so. But we went out Friday night. Yeah, was it Friday night? Yeah, Friday night. We went out Friday night, and I wore those shoes, you know. And I did go to the Gap last week, and I got 40% off. And so I got a size 2 uh, from the Gap. They're skinny jeans. They're legging jeans, I should say. And a small top. Um, with the uh, candy at, candy red shoes. That was a fun outfit to wear. So those are just a few. Oh, and I just I got a new car on Saturday, and I was just in the trunk. Uh, in the trunk of my car. Like, I haven't done that since high school. 1992, I used to get in the trunk and vacuum. Uh, my dad was very meticulous about having a clean car. Uh, huge non-scale victory to get in the trunk of the car. Lay down in the trunk of the car. And not question if I could do it, or if I was going to get stuck, or how I was going to get out of it, or how could I get in it, you know? So, um, I'm busy with lots of wedding stuff, you know, all kinds of things going on. Um, but I, I, I got a question from a fellow bandster. Not going to mention any names. Um, I got a lot of questions. But this one, I can't really help her out. Um, so I want to share the question and thoughts that she had with you guys. And I'd really love to see comments, and if you can, take the time to make a response video. And I'm going to let her know that I put it out there for her, and then I ask for comments and response videos um, to my video, so she can watch them uh, in privacy, you know, secrecy. And maybe someone out there has some answers for her, because I don't. So, um, she is struggling. She doesn't know if she's filled enough, she doesn't know if she's... Uh, maybe she, here's what she says. I don't know if I'm not filled enough, not disciplined enough, or just plain lazy. I lack determination day in and day out, and that would keep me on the right path. I'm still a closet eater, and by that I mean when I know no one is around, I hit drive throughs Lately it's been fried chicken, and it would be a Burger King or some other burger joint. If it wasn't for the buns, which there are no way in hell that I could possibly eat, I would, I would feel defeated. Sometimes I'm angry with myself every time I F up. At the gym, I'm motivated sometimes. And that's after a good night's sleep, a five-hour energy shot, and morning optimism that I try to create each day. Um, her friends encourage her, but I can't help but miss the convenience of dry throughs and cravings. I also have to deal with the munchies. How do you fight cravings for snacks? She's considering going to get another fill, but she needs some emotional guidance. I find myself hit uh, myself I find myself eating shit in the car only to mostly throw up, usually because I forget to slow down. You would think that by eight months a bitch would get it through her head. I've been in this for sixteen. I'm in a 16 for five months and have actually only lost 30-something pounds. What do you think? Uh, what can I do, she says. So, you know, uh, I'm not a drive through gal. Uh, I've been trying to deal with my weight for a number of years, and uh, I gave up McDonald's and pretty much all fast food 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, so I can't help with that, but, uh, what do you guys have to say? I know losing it with Rebecca, you're a drive through maven. Maybe you can respond, make a response video. How do you stay out of drive throughs 
And I know I've seen some videos out there of people who are closet eaters as well and have worked to overcome that. So if you could share a response video of how you get out of the closet eating, uh, that would be great. Uh, so anyway, please respond. Uh, she's in need. And uh, I don't really have the answer. So anyway, I hope you all have a great week. You know, this is a... This journey is going to be what you make it. And I just keep fighting every day to make it the best uh, journey I can. So far, so good. So I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.